Hi everyone, so patch 1.1.9 is out. I've tried it out earlier for a few hours live on stream. I already released my video talking about the undocumented changes. You should definitely check that out because not everything is in the patch notes. But there is one change in particular which is uh, pretty important, which is to the barber heart. So it is the most sought after heart in the entire game right now. Almost every build wants that. Almost every class really wants that. This allows you to absorb damage on the target and then release a more powerful explosion later on. And this effectively multiplies your damage in AoE fights and also just gives you more damage in long combat in general. So there were some bug fixes here, for example, that it didn't work with stuff like the rogues in your sight. And it also took all of the damage from your party members that were not using this hard. So there was like some really weird stuff going on and that has been fixed. But more importantly, they fixed a lot more things than that. I already talked about this in my other video about this heart in particular, the blessing and the curse. And well, they have basically removed all of the curse and made it much more of a blessing. So previously the problem was that a lot of lucky hits uh, and these kind of like trigger effects just didn't work when you had this effect going on a target. So this broke a lot of interactions. This made it unusable for a lot of builds. One example is the exposure passive on uh, the rogue that just made this unusable with a death trap build, for example, or in our side that I mentioned, uh, or some other lucky hit effects that just straight up didn't work because they required you to actually hit the target and actually deal damage. Most of that is fixed. It doesn't seem to be all of it, but almost everything. I can speak for the rogue and I can say this is the season of the barber now. And I also heard similar things for other classes already. So there are a few effects that still do not really properly work, but almost everything is actually a thing now, including even stuff like poison imbuement. So you can actually use poison imbuement with the barber and combine those two, and uh, it really those explosions based on the poison damage. That was also not possible previously. For example, this Twisting Blades Rogue Guide that many of you might have seen, where I had this pretty prominent, like, big section about the barber setup with, like, another, like, skill embed and the items shown and everything where you had to make these adjustments, dropping one of the immunements and then you run with concealment so that the concealment can trigger the vulnerable, which previously wasn't working, but now it does. So you can apply a vulnerable through puncture, you can apply a vulnerable through the exploit glyph, just like normal basically. So this means that most of these adjustments are no longer necessary. And basically every single rogue build can run the barber now. There's only one exception, which is uh, there's a the creeping death hard that gives you massive amounts of damage over time so uh, i actually kept that in like uh, the twisting blades uh, uber little variant for example now it doesn't mean that these other raffle hearts are just terrible they're still good creeping death is still a good heart if you use dots and uh, by the apothecary for example on the rogue it's the rogue specific one it's also still really good if you have that and you don't have the barber but i think that the barber is absolutely um, by far the best heart now for basically every build that can use it because, well, you don't really have a downside anymore. So if you weren't using one of these already, then you should definitely get going and farm up one of those barber hearts. Not just for the rogues, but yeah, probably for pretty much any build out there. So some exceptions may exist, and you may also just not enjoy this playstyle with this, you know, delayed damage explosion. But there is one saving grace here, which is that if you actually deal enough damage to the target to, uh, like, have enough damage stored to be considered dead, it will actually immediately explode. So you don't have to wait this four second timer. Instead, if you just basically one shot the target, it will actually explode immediately. So there's that. And for the most part, if you deal enough damage, you won't really feel this downside of this delayed explosion, but it can still feel a bit weird. And one other note here is that a lot of people always ask me, is the short barber timer better or long barber timer better? And the answer is pretty straightforward for any kind of farming content, easy stuff where you're just like, you know, blasting through. The short timer is a bit better. And for anything that is difficult, long fights, bosses, etc., the long timer is better. Now, you don't really have the luxury to choose most of the time. It's just something for you to consider which one to actually socket if you have maybe a shorter one or a longer one. The reason for that is that uh, when you have a short timer and you don't actually overkill the target, then after the two seconds, for example, elapse, all of the targets will explode and then they will kind of chain react off each other and clear the pack anyway. 
even when you deal, let's say, only half of their life to them. While with the longer time, you would have to wait a longer amount. Now, on the other hand, the longer time just gives you more DPS output, it gives you bigger bursts, and it also gives you this stacking damage effect, where the stored damage is increased every second. So this is why this is good for high-end content. Now I know that will be the next follow-up question, how do we actually farm this Barber Heart? And the answer is, well, they just fixed this Varshan quest exploit, so that is no longer possible. That means you mostly just run those, like, rabbiting pit tunnels or something like that. You just have to go and fight these Mandinian guys until you find Raffle uh, Hearts. But there was a tweet, and uh, apparently the developers are looking into the drop rates or the, the you know chances of getting a raffle invoker from the random invoker craft so maybe very soon this may be up a little bit and we can be hopeful for that and then you can actually group up with other people everyone brings their raffle invokers and you can actually kind of target farm these invokers through those tunnels so this may be one way to do it in any case this is just what i want to get out here the barber is absolutely bonkers now basically for anyone so make sure you farm one of those and uh, well good luck with this patch and in the season hope you enjoyed this and see you guys next time